All right, so look, so today I'm gonna do push-pull workouts. So you're gonna push and you're gonna pull. Or push and pull, push and pull, whatever. So you're gonna work out your shoulders, some of your, your triceps, your lats, and a bunch of your core, some of your lower chest. Because you're gonna do the push-word motion and the pull-word motion. Pull-word, whatever it's called. Okay, so I know you have a elastic band on the pull-up bar. So, so what you're going to do is you're going to do five pull-ups or try for five pull-ups assisted with your band and then five negative pull-ups. So you jump up to the bar and let yourself down slow. And then if you have a jump rope, you're going to jump rope for three minutes. No, shoot for 60 seconds. I'm sorry. So jump rope for 60 seconds. And if you don't have a jump rope, then use small dumbbells like threes, three, three pounds. And you can do milk pours. So milk pour is when you, you have your arms all the way out and your dumbbells are parallel to the ground and you pour them out. Just keep your shoulders up, pour them out. And your arms will drop plenty of times. Just keep going until you get to 60 seconds. And if you don't have those, then do arm circles. Palms down, uh, palms up and go backwards. Down is forward, up is backwards. 60 seconds if you don't have a jump rope. And then you're gonna get that same band that's on your bar. Hold on. And So yours is much longer, so I can't do this with it. But you stand at a 90 degree angle from your bar, put your hand in it, and pull straight down. You'll be able to pull all the way to here. Keep your core tight, shoulder width apart, knees just unlocked. Hold your core so you can feel your core activate because you want to activate your core. You want to hold your core to keep you from pulling. So when you, you pull the rubber band down and across until failure, as many times as you can, and then you're going to pull it straight down so you'll feel yourself kind of using your your uh, bicep your lower chest and your core to pull straight across and then you'll feel yourself just using your lat to pull straight down both of those until failure and then you do your you have I think a dumbbell there okay so just take your dumbbell and you're gonna do it like it's a kettlebell so make sure your knees stay behind your toe line. Don't let your knee come past your toe. So keep your chest straight and your neck in line with your spine. Like there's an orange or a tennis ball under your chin always. So pick it up and then nice and slowly press it up. You don't want it to come forward because that sucks. Just pick it straight up and then down. And then switch hands. Straight up. Straight down, nice and controlled. Uh, exhale on your up, inhale when you set it down and set it down nice and controlled and then pick it up. So do, and do those until failure, both sides. Just keep going. I mean, if you make it to like a hundred, then stop, you know what I'm saying? But, and then that's one of your sets. Do that five times. And if you can do it more than five, then do it seven. If you can do it less than five, then just do it three times. Bunch of water in between. And that's what I'm doing today for uh, push, that's pull, push. So I'm pushing and my arm circles or jump ropes is kind of like my pull. Push, pull, push, whichever way, up, down. And then so tomorrow we'll probably do push, pull, push, pull. Our back in between our shoulder blades, our rhomboids, I think they're called, I don't know. And then push, triceps and chest. The day after we'll do push and pull. Push and pull, push and pull. You know what I'm talking about. So there, I think that'll work, right? That's what I'm doing today.